Hello there, my name's Barry. I'm here at Rimmers Music in Blackpool with the Kawai CN201 Digital Piano. Uh, this model replaces and improves upon its predecessor, the CN29. The particular uh, version that I've got here is finished in rosewood. You can also get it in satin white and satin black. Uh, we have all three finishes available on our website. There will be a link in the description below. So, what are the differences between this and its predecessor? And how does it sound? Well, I can say it does sound absolutely fantastic. The Shiguro SKEX is there in all of its glory. The sound is fantastic, as you would expect. Uh, differences wide, well, they're subtle, but they are there. Um, first of all, on the left-hand panel there, we've got buttons which are larger than its predecessor. Um, and they're also adorned with icons rather than text there just to indicate what they do. The OLED screen that was present on the CN29 is still there. Uh, very very useful feature. Uh, doesn't interrupt your playing, it actually times out while you're playing and the screen goes black which is fantastic if you're playing at night. There's a big revision on the key action. It is a responsive Hammer 3 I think key action but unlike the predecessor it is much quieter um, there's also a system uh, which balances the low end for when you're playing and it makes sure that if you're playing pianissimo pieces that they come across far better to you uh, as the player and as the listener as well. Also featured on the piano is where the power button is. It is a minor thing, this, I'll be honest with you, but it is a feature, I guess. Um, there's a little light on the power button now, so you can just see at a glance if it's switched on. Possibly the reason for that might be because the panel times out, although there is another light present on the panel there anyway. So it is a feature, it is very, very minor, but it, it's still there nonetheless. We still have a nice sliding cover, which helps to protect the instrument, keeps the dust out and so on and so forth. And um, what is the other thing? Bluetooth. Now we have Bluetooth MIDI support, which is fantastic. Oh, excuse the door there, it's the music skills. We do have uh, Bluetooth MIDI support, which is fantastic if you're wanting to wirelessly connect your device to something like an iPad or an Android tablet or phone or something like that. And that allows you to use Kawai's uh, app's virtual, uh, what's it called now? Virtual Technician, I think it's called, which is one of the apps, which is fantastic. You can change all the parameters in the piano, temperament, uh, key, tuning, the way that it responds, there's loads, I think there's 19 parameters to actually virtually adjust the piano the way that it actually responds. Um, and there's also another app called Piano, I can't remember the name, Pia Song, something, I can't remember the name of the app, sorry, um, which basically displays the sheet music. It's great for if you're learning to play. And speaking of learning to play, it also contains the Al Alfred's tuition books in the actual machine itself. So you can listen to the songs play them back and then play along with them or just use it to, to listen to some classical music which is a fantastic feature. Another important feature is with the Bluetooth is that it now supports Bluetooth audio so you can use this as a, a really nice high quality speaker system uh, wirelessly connect it to your Bluetooth device I've used a phone many a time and uh, stream your favorite Spotify and other libraries from Apple Music, for example, or Amazon Music, and stream the music straight through the piano's inbuilt speakers, and it really does sound fantastic. It's far better than these little tiny Bluetooth speakers that you can get. And at the end of the day, you pay for a, a very nice speaker system there already for the piano, so why not use it for other things like your own favourite music? So it does that as well. Really good feature, very good conversational piece, and available on something that is near the low end of the scale as far as the CN series are concerned. So it's a, it's a fantastic feature, brilliant to have. And I think that, that just about wraps it up. There may be some other little bits and pieces in there that I may have missed, unfortunately, but uh, I just wanted to keep this video short and sweet, give you some of the rundowns for the differences. And uh, without further ado, let's have a listen to some sounds. And as usual, we'll listen to the piano sound first.
We've also got a number of other sounds on the piano, as we had with its predecessor, which we can skip through quite simply on the panel here. Uh, we've got the SKEX Concert Piano. We also have an upright piano. We also have a jazz piano. We also have what's called an EX pop piano. SKEX mellow. EX Mellow, Modern, Electric Piano. EX Modern. And so on. So we've got 19 great quality sounds. Organ sounds, jazz organ sounds, harpsichord, string ensembles. And so on. So that's pretty much it. I'm sure I've missed a few little bits and pieces out there, but if you are thinking of getting a new digital piano, this is certainly one worth considering. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Barry. There will be a link in the description below. If you do have uh, any questions whatsoever, then do feel free to add them and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, before I go, if you are interested in how to build this piano, uh, I will pop a, a link up there at the side of the video, click on that and it will take you to the video which shows you how I put this piano together. So if you're wanting to have a few tips on how to build your piano, then check that video out. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.